welcome to Balancing the Bars. Girls, today we have a lot to talk about, actually. Um, it is no secret that the world has been hmm, greeted with a global pandemic. COVID-19, coronavirus, anti-rona. <laughs> I hate anti-rona. <laughs> Whatever we want to call it. And no country has been spared from COVID-19, including our country, Guyana. We have witnessed um, economic decline globally, loss in jobs, um, cuts in salaries. But there's something that my pastor said, that there's opportunity in crisis. True. And I believe that we have seen a lot of opportunities emerging um, out of COVID-19. And one of those opportunities would have been seeing new entrepreneurs on the block. Um, COVID-19 has really forced persons to activate their survival instincts, you know? That could be nice. <laughs> and I feel like many of us, we go through life just wanting to work the night to fight, but I feel like COVID has also taught us to, it's important to have more than one streams of income, mm -hmm. and we have witnessed that with persons. That's the key. But, but, in light of all of the entrepreneurs that are on the block, mm -hmm. something that we cannot shy away from is that there are some ugly truths mm -hmm. about entrepreneurship. Definitely. And hashtag, the struggle is real. <laughs> So real. So we'll be talking about that today. The ugly truths about entrepreneurship. Hashtag the struggle is real. And I believe that we are equipped to talk about that, especially all being young entrepreneurs. So yeah, let's <laughs> Something you said there is still out because I think in the first two to three years, I think you're still baby entrepreneurs. I think mm -hmm. we're still creeping. And that's when you hit all of the like hard corners and all the jagged edges because it's within those couple of years you know if you're gonna rise or you're gonna fall so i feel like yeah we got some things to say here uh, talking about that in the first three years of starting your business it's important to know that consistency is key mm -hmm. because it's easy for you to just be like all right i will post like, especially if you're dealing with a business where you have to post by your social mm -hmm. media or you have to be connecting with people it's like all right i don't feel like doing this today or i don't want to post today mm -hmm. but you have to keep that momentum going just so that you can sell your product or service and actually connect with your customers because mm -hmm. you don't know if you don't post today you might miss somebody that needs to yeah. see your post yeah and then another thing too a part of being consistent is knowing how to be your own biggest fan yeah. mm -hmm. or your biggest supporter because a lot of us look for that gratification from the outside or from others when mm -hmm. we need to find that love within ourselves we need to have that drive and push because if you're not pushing yourself who else do you expect to do it exactly yeah and i love the fact abina that you mentioned that you have to post consistency is key even when you don't feel like posting you know sometimes when you're in the public sector right you could go to work and whether you work or not you get still collecting that dollars at the end of the month yeah, right true. but a, a lot of us can testify to going in the public service mm -hmm. wanting to be served and then there is a whole mood not today <laughs> right not today <laughs> you human and whether or not you're working for somebody else or you're running your own business there's just some days where you need to just keep it on a minimum your energy level needs to be reserved you need to like store and and then you can go again you know and it's going to be all fiery and whatnot it's, it's important to take breaks definitely important yes to take breaks. i think a lot of times we're not taught that though it's a hustle culture you know yeah go for it go for it go for it i saw something recently gold diggers but even in being a gold digger and being ambitious as you are you still need to take a break in the midst of in the midst of that hustle yeah i mean something that really comes to me when you say that is the fact a lot of times we get stuck in this comfort zone 
and we find ourselves on a hamster wheel like to it's like you, you, yeah, you're on a, a wrong and wrong and then you find that you're not moving someplace but the thing is it's as though you're putting in the work but you haven't step back you have to step back and say well you know i could do different here yeah. and, and be very critical of your own self and your own routines we're just thinking oh i gotta be busy i gotta be doing this yeah. and i think that in that way you live in your comfort zone and now you don't push past your own limit mm -hmm. and there's no growth there and you you said that you know you think that you always have to be busy something that i've learned is business doesn't always mean business Okay. Right there, we go. And I love it when it's soft. 
-hmm. and well seasoned. And a lot of salt. Not only the and salad, a lot of salt. Salad. Some sweet potato in that mix. Okay, <laughs> that's all we're gonna say about that. Well, I mean, I think a lot of a lot of part a lot of parts that we miss is putting your pride aside. Mm -hmm. Yes, you want to do this business, but can this business stand on its own feet right now? What can you do to assist your dream to push forward? And I mean, I learned a new skill. I can cook anything and it works because, okay, now let's say I want to start and invest in an education in this field, all right? I need this amount of money. I can do a barbecue. I can do this. Mm -hmm. So it's it's above multiple streams of income and that's what billionaires do. Mm -hmm. um, people selling tissue paper, they're going to go, on, okay, maybe I can do a baby white product next, mm -hmm. you know? It's about spreading yourself out and not having shame in making your money because, I mean, you're not begging, you're not stealing, and you're not undermining anybody. Mm -hmm. So there's no shame in making a, a an honest dollar. I think it's a bit easier for me because I don't necessarily sell products, I sell a service. Mm -hmm. So with the marketing that I do with the web design and stuff, I still have my day job and I still have a lot of consultancy work that I do. So I was able to use that one skill and divide it into um, multiple streams of income. Yeah. So I think I can't relate to that struggle per se, yeah. but it's a lot easier for me to, what is it, create avenues to make money with the knowledge yeah. that I do have. And I'm still looking for more ways to earn more. <laughs> That's <laughs> the most it's not, it's not about much money. Yeah. <laughs> kudos, kudos to Abina though, because I think a lot of times when you're running a business and you have a salary coming in every month, a lot of people, and it happened to me. Mm -hmm. I got sidetracked and I was like, yeah, this money thing, I can depend on this. Whoops! When you get fired, <laughs> you really right. not sleep on your dream because mm -hmm. that's that's what has me so happy and and ready to make more investments and push forward my business. It wasn't somebody paying me for something. So the fact that you are not being sidetracked and you're still doing what you're doing, you're developing your tech skills and you're pushing forward, that that is what a lot of people need to learn. Don't get complacent. Don't depend on nobody money, but use the money <laughs> smartly. <laughs> you work. There's nothing wrong with totally. having your business and working for somebody else. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You need to learn the balance because a lot of times, sometimes people think that okay, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm making my money. You have a lot of pride. When you're given a task to do it, where you're like, yeah, you know, at the end of the month, I can still collect you money, but I can focus on what pride. I want to focus on. But you need pride. to be mm -hmm. humble in those instances and know that. If you're given a task at work, at the end of the day, it's people are paying you as well. Mm -hmm. You still need to be able to do their work and do yours. It's about finding the balance. balance. That's it. <laughs> and Friday, Friday's a dumb fall. I mean, I didn't do that 100%. Mm -hmm. When I was working and running my business, I was trying to do their work, but I felt that it got to a point where it was too demanding. Mm -hmm. And I think the universe came through and said, all right, you I think it's time. <laughs> you can stand on your own two feet now. Sure. Yeah, well, like that happened. And it's important to trust the process. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. right. I'm nine to five is not for everybody. True. That's true. And I'm preaching to nice. Let me know what's the value because I feel like God, he has this way of just placing you to places mm -hmm. of, of, so you can of like you feel you're not so comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Just for mm -hmm. you to grow. So I'm not even going to say. But honestly, I won't like nine to five I, 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 I've tried it for years and I, I'm, I'm in a place where I want to try it again mm -hmm. but a nine to five is not for everyone I'll, I'll just say that mm -hmm. but even if you have a nine to five again as Vina just said it's important to find that balance yeah, and utilize it the best that you can and there are 24 hours in a day so don't think because you have a nine to five you cannot have another stream mm -hmm. of income I think that comes with not sleeping on yourself and you know just getting too comfortable no harms to wheel ice at all because I feel like look at the crazy time we're living in mm -hmm. you hear today you have with your friends and then you don't know which mad mad woman is going to come and try to interrupt your flow um, not even like to let's say take your life but to try to steal you your joy or, or bring you down in some way because we're vulnerable people Human beings are softies, no matter how much money you get, how old you are. How I, you I think that we're all softies, and that's okay. Yeah. It's just about knowing how to guard yourself in a way and letting down your guards. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like, as business people too, we feel as though 
our life is going to revolve around a flow of income, but the things that really give me joy in my business is not turning over a profit, but making my clients happy. And, and that's, just, that's just me. So I found a business that basically is close to my natural inclination, and that's what's me and I You know, I feel like <laughs> she, she, she wants to, I feel like she's staring to the path of, you know, say what her business is. No! <laughs> no! no! Take the plug. Plug it. Take the plug. Plug it in. Tell me what you do that in. Real friends for life. Get the plug. So Dalima Artista is an organic company. I deal with body care for men and women. Whether you're looking to smoothen your skin, tone it up, or add a little pedazzle to your face with makeup, I'm your girl. And my friend Abina here has a business as well. Why don't you help him out? All right. So since everybody's plugging today, <laughs> I have a business called ASG Solutions. So essentially, we provide marketing, um, inclusive of graphic design, social media management, and we also do a bit of web design as well. So if you need a little, she's really good. She got it. If you need a little bit of creativity, you can come to me. I don't know. <laughs> Our girl Jamie C. here. And if you want to write here, any communications consultant, PR work, I'm here. Um, I'm creative here. designing, I'm here. If you want me to talk? The I'm best here. host is yes, here. Right? Your girl is here. But let's get back to regular programming. No, I mean, that's a part of it though. I think another ugly truth in business is that not a lot of your friends and family are going to support you. Bro! But you gotta support you. Gotta Bro! You gotta support yourself. You know, Definitely. I really wanted to bring that up when Abina was saying that, you know, um, you have to be your biggest supporter. Mm -hmm. And I feel that is the biggest and the ugliest truth about entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, or it, anything that you're about to take part in is that the people you expect to support you, your family, your friends, mm -hmm. honey, they're the one who always wanted this girl. They're the no, one honey, they're the what's ones the, who always what's my price? Please. What's the family price? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, what everybody else is going to pay to get the same quality of work as everybody else. <laughs> and that 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 is I in my in my years of doing business and um, my company at Mac Media is that I found strangers. Even in my voluntary work, in, in pageantry, I found it was strangers who God just caused me, caused our path to align. Mm -hmm. That was like, I believe in you. I see what you're doing. I'm proud of you. I remember um, being a part of the Miss Royal Guyana competition. Mm -hmm. I, persons from Canada and the UK messaged me and they were like, I see you, I see what you're doing, and I just want to come on board. Meanwhile, that girl here with the phone, she owned it. Like, I mean, I had my friends who yeah. supported me, and definitely had my friends and my family, but you know, sometimes some of the people who you would have run for and supported them in their time, but like, that's okay. That's right. It's that's okay. Right. It really is okay. And even though it's maybe going to make you feel a bit dumb driving for a minute, be thankful that. The people are being revealed, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then too, you get to see that you really don't need persons to push forward because your support is not that you don't need persons to push forward. But everyone, you don't need everyone. Yeah, because that's what I meant. One thing we're all big on is energy, mm -hmm. and that's right, right. And okay. certain energy really shouldn't just be attached to what you're doing. Yeah. And I have a sense of it's the universe, but I say God, He has this way of just you know removing. What isn't supposed to be, you have to be open to it. it. And you have yeah. to be a part of it. Once you're trying to hold on to it, it has to go. And I think that's another important thing that we need to learn in business and in life in general. When it's time to let go, you need to let go. Because if you don't do it the easy way, God will find the hard way to make it happen. <laughs> and you go learn. <laughs> you go learn. I have stories, bro. The stories that you guys are going to hear more about. We yes. talk about relationships, but when it comes to that, let it go. You know, you're like, you're praying, God, remove everything that's not supposed to be. God, remove everything and that doesn't have your like, like, right? 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 And it, it's not just that, but when you want it to be removed, it, 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 it's there. But after you keep that attachment, when he's finally ready to pull, you're like, you already reattach yourself to this thing. You know, it's like, Okay, it's no time for you to let go. You're not gonna let go when you want to let go. 
and I think it's time for you to let go. So, but that that goes back to the natural cycle of life, though. Mm -hmm. You grow, leaves shed, and then you just push forward. But that that was some conversation, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I I love that because I wish that I could have clicked and used internet for something resourceful when I was starting mm -hmm. to get to hear some real talk and some advice from people who've been through it. And we have you on that because there's so much more authentic vibes coming up too. But before we go, um, something really important for young entrepreneurs, even though we're, we're talking about the Bali Truths, mm -hmm. there, there are places where you can go to learn, um, to start. Um, one of the sites, Abina. So essentially, when starting a business, you want to focus not on just your social media management. Sometimes you need a website as well too. So sites.gy is a great place for you to start when building your website. It's a drag and drop interface. And the price is really affordable for a young and up-and-coming entrepreneurs. So you guys should definitely check it out, sites.gy. Okay, and you can always message us. <laughs> True! <laughs> just just up. Yeah. Yeah. And that is in the bar. Yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this discussion. And as Danny was saying in the, in the beginning that this is something you wish you had when you were starting yeah. off, but mm -hmm. it's never too late to start. Mm -hmm. It's never too late to learn. And even if you're in your first year, few months, two years of business, mm -hmm. um, it's not too late to learn things to improve your skills and so forth. And so I trust that for those who are listening that you guys were able to actually take away something from today. Yeah. Um, even though they're ugly truths, these, knowing these ugly truths help to break balance. True. So true. And in life, it's important to find balance. balance. <laughs> Very true. Balance brings peace. Yes. That's what we're about. And if you love what you hear, be sure to follow us at Balancing the Bars on Instagram and YouTube and as well as Facebook. Thank you guys. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.